VMS video tutorial entering a chip patrol timesheet. We'll click on timesheet for description of the view on this timesheet. Please see the video for timesheets. Logged in as a member, the primary unit is chip, so I'm already there. While doing a patrol, being it's based on your individual time, you will need to create the overall event ID. We do that here, add a new event. What type of event is it? It is a patrol FTO, who is the host, chip, name the event. This is going to be the two members that go out on patrol that day or evening. So we will do first initial last name underscore first initial last name. We add the start date. We'll say today. The end is today. The location is north. The unit is chip. And this is where we add our security checks. We did three vacation checks, five park checks, five business checks, two subdivision checks. We had one motor vehicle accident and no other records. Under comments, we can put fuel at Fowler. We filled the car up the x-ray unit at Fowler Park gas station. We click save and close. Now this only created the event record for this patrol. There are currently no timesheets yet. So now we go to the timesheets. We click on that. We can hit add new timesheet. Chip is the default unit. I'm logged in as Hamish, so that pops up as a default as well. The start and end date pop up as well, based on the event record that we just created. We'll put in a time, start time, and an end time. X-ray unit, we were in X-ray 1, and we patrolled the north. Any other notes can go in here if needed. And we click Save. Oops, I can't enter that timesheet. It is 288 minutes in the future. Time, time may not be entered before the actual time has occurred. So it is currently 511. I cannot enter a timesheet for the future. So we will change this and say 13. 15 and click Save. Hamish Osborne now has a record from 1300 to 1500 for a total of two hours. X ray one in the north. Clone is now how you can enter the second person's timesheet. Now, this message pops up Do you want to clone the timesheet? It will re replicate the timesheet, but you must choose a different volunteer. So as this pops up, the only thing we can change in this timesheet is the name. So we can enter whoever our partner's name was. Everything else stays the same. And we click Save. Now we have both timesheets. If we click Close, that brings us back to the overall event listing. Do note. The event record itself has an audit to it. Hamish Osborne created this event record. 
Mark Hallman will not be able to go in and edit this record. Only Hamish can. It will be the same for the timesheet. We go into the timesheet. Hamish Osborne created it. He can edit his own. Mark can actually go in and edit his own timesheet, but that's only because he owns he owns it himself. It's his timesheet. Now, Hamish can go in and edit it because Hamish Osborne created it. I say this to note, if one partner, which is our normal process, enters the timesheet for both partners, he needs to be aware that he may have to go in and edit that timesheet if something is incorrect in the future. If for some reason you need to delete this timesheet or this event, you must delete the timesheets first, then you can delete the event. So if we go in there and click on that, we can hit delete. I can hit delete. No timesheets present. Close. Confirm no timesheets. Then we can click on the event record itself and we can hit delete. Now that whole record is gone. That is how to enter a chip patrol event and timesheet.